Let us now consider a chemical composition problem. A gasoline additive has the percent composition of 71.65% chlorine, 24.27% carbon, and 4.07% hydrogen. And it has a molar mass of 98.67 grams per mole. What is the molecular formula? Immediately, we recognize this as a chemical composition problem, and hence it lends itself to the grid that we developed earlier. Let us now write the data in light of this framework. We have 71.65% chlorine and 24.27% carbon and 4.04% hydrogen. We also know that the molar mass of the material is 98.96 grams per mole. The strategy seems quite simple. We will start with weight percent, change that to grams, determine the empirical formula. From the empirical formula, we can easily calculate the empirical weight. Once we know the number of empirical weight units, which we will get by dividing the total molecular weight by the empirical weight. We will then know the number of repeating units, and we will know our molecular formula in terms of empirical formula unit weights. So, let's start. This is where our answer lay, and we're going to start here where the star is. The very first thing that we need to do is convert percents to grams. If you recall, we can easily do that by merely assuming that we have a 100 gram sample, and so the percents merely change to grams. Now, to convert grams to empirical formula unit, what we need to do is convert grams to moles, because we know our empirical formula is going to have chlorine in it, and we know that it's going to have carbon in it, and we know that it is going to contain hydrogen. So the key is to convert grams of each of these materials into moles of these materials. There are 35.45 grams of chlorine for every mole of chlorine, and we know that there are 12 grams of carbon for every mole of carbon, and we know that there are 1.008 grams of hydrogen for every mole of hydrogen. Now, we have the relative mole ratios of each of these, but we now need to use that scenario where we first divide through by the smaller or smallest number of moles, and then if need to, we multiply by some number to get us to an even number. So the first thing let's do is divide through by the smallest. And the smallest in this case is 2.021. And this gives us the numbers 1, and a number very close to 1, and a number very close to 2. So we now have our empirical formula, CLCH2. What does this material weigh? It has the weight of one chlorine and one carbon and two hydrogens. And if you add those weights up, you will see that this material weighs 49.47 grams per mole. 49.47 times what equals 98? It's easy to see that number is 2. N equals 2. Therefore, we have two empirical formula units in our molecular formula. But we know the empirical formula is CLCH2. That's the empirical formula. And I know I have two of them. And so my molecular formula ends up being 
Cl2, C2, H4. As an aside, it is going to be either this material or this material. And there we have it. When given weight percents and when given the molecular weight of the formula, it is quite easy to calculate the molecular formula itself.